you know about this story, Balenciaga under they did the creepy S ads and M uh, ads and bondage ads, and they put kids in them. Creepy if you're racist and you hate LGBTQ. Okay, <laughs> so there they are, right? So they're and they're holding these little toys, and they have they're all dressed up like S and M. You you've seen the story, and uh, so Balencia campaign Kim Kardashian. She, so I want to show you the timeline on this. So this was November twenty first, mm-hmm. right? So we knew about this on November twenty first. And on November 28, Kim Kardashian, so it takes a whole week for Kim Kardashian just to even say anything about it. She said she was shaken a whole week. Did you cut ties with them? I don't think has. Can you look up if Kim Kardashian is to take you know, cut? I don't think she's cut ties. Fashionable, like, I swear to God, gimp masks before that, that I believe she was wearing. Way really? Before that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The people have been showing pictures of it all week. That's why Kanye is wearing a Balenciaga was that's that what Balenciaga. he was wearing? That's, Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's what that is. is when like he was Kanye uses when he was mind, maybe part of, uh, when he was on with Alex Jones, yes, he was a wearing a Balenciaga gimp, gimp mask. mask. Yes, that's what that is. That's what his like. I didn't watch the interview. It's it's painful to watch it, but I assume he was razzing him about you know. That's why he's wearing that. So the reason I'm showing you this is because this guy. Uh, who was from a, uh, uh, now I, I knew it and I'm blanking on the, he was from a, a reality show. And uh, so watch, watch him. He's going to start talking about Balenciaga. Now we've showed you how the view covers it and other people cover it. They don't go at Balenciaga really. They go, they used it to attack Trump. They use it to attract right, to attack right wingers. Ugly designs too. And, and That's the, the worst. The worst thing. worst thing they would say is that they would call their designs ugly. That's Ew. What, so this guy is not going to take it. This guy is going to go right at him. Oh, by the way, this guy is, I'll show you who he is. He's the reality TV veteran who has appeared on Big Brother, Amazing Race, and Marriage Boot Camp. He conducts the post interviews online for Big Brother, the show where he met his wife. They have two adorable sons. So what is that? Kim Kardashian demanded Balenciaga take action after double controversy over exploitation ads. It seems they listened. Here's what they're proposing. That's Are fortune. you shitting me? Mm-hmm. She's not leaving them. She's making demands. Well, she got Trump to do that first step bill. <laughs> wow. So here's what this guy says. Where's the outrage? I'm going to go off for a minute here because Please where go. is the outrage? It's been a week and a half. And now we're doing this story. I get it. Thanksgiving was happening and all that. But they tried to hide behind that, right? Maybe this will make it through the news cycle. No, it's not, okay? Adidas didn't cut ties 48 hours after Kanye did his whole thing, right? And they got lambasted for not speaking out against uh, anti-Semitism. This is a week and a half, and nobody seems to care that there's little kids involved in this. I can't speak what it's like to be a black man, right? So he had to take out his earpiece because the producers are screaming in his <laughs> ear to <laughs> shut the hell up about this. And he's he's like, I'm not going to listen to that. I'm going to keep going. And then, so he does. That's that's what that is. That's wow. what that is. So watch. Here he goes. Can't speak what it's like to be a Jewish woman, but I could speak what it's like to be a father of two young boys and that this type of behavior. When I worked at CBS.com out of a little closet, my first show, I was like, I'm going to say this and wear a blue shirt. I got 49 emails saying, maybe wear a purple shirt and maybe don't say this here. Don't tell me this slipped through the cracks when you're getting a court case that features child pornography. It's disgusting. It's disturbing. Jeopardy's got to flip their whole production because of w- one person said something, but they wanted to be woke and do all that. How many other examples are there? 10, 20, 30, 40 years we're going back to cancel people, but this slips through the cracks? It's outrageous. And that people aren't outraged and skipping work with their posters and going to the courthouse or going to Balenciaga and stars aren't wiping their Instagram and social media with all their Balenciaga gear is disgusting in itself. Don't you tell me, Hollywood, how to live my life or you want me canceled or because you produce something. You're going to go around because Balenciaga pays you a million dollars, two million, five million. Kim Kardashian, shame on you. You're a billionaire. You don't need this company. They need you. And for you to take a week and a half to come to a conclusion, shame on you. Wow. I- I think they thought years of being on reality shows would have broken him. Yeah. To know, never, but they just hit his button. I, wow. That was something. Okay. I just wanted to say that um, according to this TMZ, 
that uh, Kim Kardashian has declined new campaign offer by Balenciaga before breaking her silence. So she doesn't seem like she's going to. She was set to wear different uh, clothing of them for future events. She's declining to do that. And then it concludes. The article concludes clearly Balenciaga got Kim's message announced Monday. We want to ensure that the new controls mark a pivot and will prevent this from happening again. We are laying groundwork with the organizations who specialize in child protection and aims at ending child abuse and expectation. Of course, uh, a source to say Kim does not have any plans to work with the brand in the future. Oh, but will Kanye continue to wear that great mask, I hope? Let's hope so. <laughs> will Kanye still wear that amazing... That's I, why he's screwing around with them. That's why he's wearing that. Well, it's just so funny that the, she she's... They're not... She hasn't broken ties. She's The, the, the headline is that she's made uh, making demands on them. Did, did, did they that say... That was that first... Step, what was yeah. the demand? Oh, I couldn't get to it. It was a Forbes article that oh, was lost. I like how they say that. Um, could you read what you just read again? Because it triggered me to think of something. Okay, so at the conclusion of this article on TMZ, clearly Balenciaga got Kim's message and announced Monday. We want oh. to ensure that new controls mark controls. So, so they're acting like, oh, that that's what happens because we just didn't have the controls. And then, you know, things just run out and then a mouse got in. And when we were in gimp masks, it's hard to see what we're editing. They're trying to act like this was a mistake. Not our entire no, no, our this, Nazi fr fr yeah, uh, fascist company yeah. <laughs> from the World War II. And now we have our controls in place. <laughs> what? You guys are putting out S&M kitty porn and it's. Nobody else, you don't have, you normally don't have to put controls in place for something like that because you don't have a bunch of fucking perverts, kitty porn people running your company. But Balenciaga does. They're all fucking weirdo, kitty porn people. Do, uh, somebody pointed this out to me and I didn't even think about it at the time, but because there's a couple of weird art books in the background of the table and that yeah. same thing. And one of those, the cremaster cycle, I went to see that in New York with a girlfriend that was into art, right? And I, at the time, so in light of this campaign, it looks really weird. At the time when I went to this exhibit, it did not seem, my friend pointed out to me, well, that's because that was an art exhibit and not advertising. An art art thing can be avant-garde. It's art. This right. is advertising. advertising. To, that, that adds the layer of the devil to it so much extra. And all of a sudden, it extra sinister. Okay, well, God bless Kim Kardashian for not breaking ties with him. Took a lot of guts. Took a lot of guts to wait a couple of weeks. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, we're doing live stand-up comedy in Los Angeles, December 9th, 16th, 23rd, and 30th. And we're going to be in Tempe, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, Nashville. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for all those tickets. See you there.